It's Christina and I'm at Reston Town Center, standing outside of the Accenture building. Let me show you how tall and majestic it is. It goes way up there. And this is one of the very first buildings um, in Reston Town Center. Um, it was originally Anderson Consulting, and that's what it was when I first started here. Um, Anderson Consulting. I worked here in the year 2000. I was a business process and technology analyst and um, one of the first uh, primary objectives was undergoing the, um, the branding, the global branding change and the selection of the new name and um, of course the signage that would be changed up here. So um, yeah, I learned a lot about branding and the importance of selecting a name of your company, even so much as the letters that comprise it. Like for instance, a capital A is a very stable letter, so is an X, so is an M. But S's and C's are curvy, and they um, subliminally, uh, you know, imply, you know, not as much stability. So we talked about that. We talked about the palette of colors as far as what uh, colors used in branding, what they, um, what kind of emotions they elicit. And um, then we chose the name. We had to choose the name and change the name on all of the marketing collateral, all of the um, buildings, all the signs by um, January 2001. So it was chosen by someone internally uh, we had internal team and external team working on it, uh, organizationally, and it was a great experience to um, go through this global branding. Um, you know, it's probably the most memorable in the, in the history of in the history of everything. <laughs> so we chose Accenture, and there was a particular reason why it is lower cased with the um, accent over it, and it had to do a lot with um, forward thinking and technology. We built so we built so many systems. Um, we really got a lot of people on the internet, you know, the very first time, their very first websites. So um, as a business process and technology analyst, we went through um, business process engineering because a lot of the um, companies formerly had um, paper-based business process uh, to support their functions. So we were going, we're, we moved that online and made it digital an automated business process where it made sense. And included in that, of course, is systems engineering for new systems and systems integration for those um, companies that, <clears throat> you know, already invested in systems, had legacy investments that they wanted to preserve and they wanted interoperability. Because as you know, um, whether it's within an enterprise um, or outside the enterprise, there are systems that need to communicate with one another and transmit information to one another. So that has to happen with the least amount of friction. And uh, I learned a lot about you know, auto business process automation, business process re-engineering, and systems integration, communication between disparate systems. And sometimes the, the, the systems that are communicating to one another they, um, you know, they send information between themselves, and you know, it's just a transient kind of, a, you know, receipt and acknowledgement. And then sometimes that data needs to persist the database of the receiving system. So, yeah, and what I worked on here, um, besides the global rebranding effort, was. Um, we had a client at the time, um, WorldCom MCI, and we were working with them as well as other um, telecommunication providers like Verizon on what we called back then EBPP, Electronic Bill Presentment and Payment Online. So we took the wireless carriers and the cell phone bills that were paper, went through an um, analysis of those and decided how to present that and enable payment for that securely online. So that was one of my projects here as a consultant, and we went out to um, Chicago, I think it was St. Charles, for training, and um, learned all about 
programming and software development life cycle and testing, app development and testing. This was in, um, I worked here in the years 2000 and 2001, and it was an amazing experience. And um, this company has, um, I have to say, the best repeatable methodologies and templates and everything like that because um, you have to, you know, oh, there's a dog. <laughs> Uh, you have to ensure quality and consistency in your approach and if you're going to be working with major companies you want to offer the least amount of risk as possible and you do that with repeatable methodologies and processes internally which you extend to them. So um, you know, if, if you're familiar with CMMI certification, that is what happens here. Um, during software development life cycle and testing. So um, it was a great experience and I just wanted to do a video to document this because I'm planning on moving away from Washington DC metro area and um, just wanted to um, do like a little photo journaling of my life, I guess a video blog of my um, past things that I've done here. And this was very instrumental to me because now I'm helping, you know, now it's 2014 I mean, it's like 14, 15 years later almost, and I'm helping individuals do this because now, you know, these kind of things aren't just reserved for companies with, um, you know, six-figure, million-dollar <laughs> budgets to do marketing. So I'm taking all that I've learned here and applying it to um, entrepreneurs who want to have um, their own business. So the same things apply. Um, there's certain business processes that are eligible for automation. There is systems integration. You know, when it's an entrepreneur, it's, it's between um, an email marketing system and a shopping cart and maybe a membership site. And um, these things are far less complex than what an enterprise needs. So um, I think I am well prepared for my experiences in corporate environment and I'm just going to transition those skills and I love working for myself now and I just realized that all of these things were stepping stones um, in my personal journey and growth and development and I'm happy for the opportunity and I just, I, I just can't believe how many buildings have built up around this. This was here, you know, this is one of the very first ones, it was the most majestic one, I think it kind of made a statement at the time and um, yeah, it was Anderson Consulting in September 2000 when I started, and then um, we chose the name, and we changed everything, and we started as Accenture January 1st, 2001. And I still have some Anderson Consulting um, marketing stuff, post-it notes and stuff at home because we had to take everything out of the public domain, and most of it was shredded, but you know the consultants could take some of it. Um, some of it home with them if we just kept it out of the public domain so and it was like um, the new name was you know adopted very um, uh, well they spent a lot of if you look on the internet you can see I can't remember the dollar amount we spend in this global rebranding effort but it was it was considerable it was a considerable amount of money but um, I remember my office here Actually, I never had like a, a, a steady office. What they do here is um, for consultants, because we're on the go and we're mobile and sometimes we work from home and sometimes we work from client sites, is they had this thing called a hoteling concept. So in the lobby, there's a touch screen and if you um, were um, working here for the day, you would um, kind of tap in, <laughs> I guess you touch screen in, and it would let you know the availability of the um, rooms. So you could have like a room to yourself or if you needed a meeting room with a whiteboard or um, a board room for a meeting to accommodate um, more people, you would just tap what you needed and you would sort of um, lease it. Um, there's no money involved, it's just a matter of availability. So internally we had amazing systems, processes, methodologies, there's another doggy. Sorry, I can't help it, I always notice puppy dogs. and. Um, just learn the value of um, of that. So, yeah, this is one of my first in um, one of my first jobs um, working with the internet. I mean, I've been I've been helping companies with their online presence ever since the beginning of the internet, 
and it all started right here. So, thank you for watching my video and going down memory lane with me, and I will see you in the next one. Okay?